royalty. Money. <laughs> we did it for the money. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Mate, you, you, talk, you talk about loyalty. I was withholding for seven years. And then right? you just jumped shit. Yeah, just no, jumped. no, seven years. We had two Bathurst wins. That you was jumped. for Holden. Yeah, you jumped. So that, that, was a, that was a fair innings. And at the, the, end of the, the end of the day... So why did you leave, mate? Tell us. Well, because well at the end of the day... It jumped. You jumped for the money. Nah, nah. You jumped for the money. It had nothing to do with the money. It had, it had, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> had nothing to do with the money. <laughs> yeah. You'll get it here in a minute. It was Re Richo, Richo bumped me out of my seat. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Over to you. <laughs> I think there are a few drivers who may need a little makeup right now and uh, a big glass of water if we can just keep them on the table long enough. We'll We'll be back with more from the Star City Showroom. Fantastic audience here at the Star City Showroom for V8 Superstars. We'll wind this program up by looking ahead as we tend to do. And uh, this is a big look at the endurance races, of course, in Sandown and Bathurst. And some very interesting driver combinations. Not all the teammates are able to uh, drive together. We'll discuss that with uh, Russell and uh, Marcus in just a moment. But firstly, Brad Jones, you mentioned earlier in the program how much Bathurst means to you and how much this team is uh, doing this year. You've got a pretty good show with JB. Well, I mean, the first thing we've got to get across is the better electrical 500 at Sandown, and um, I think that, uh, you know, it's not very far away. We've got a strong team. We usually do quite well in endurance races, for a little while anyway. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I'm, re it's, I'm really looking forward to the next two events. You really sound like it, too. I am. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it, yeah. Yeah. You, you <laughs> Hey, go easy. Just on that, Brad and JB have been really strong, particularly at Bathurst the last two years. Like they've really taken it up to and been the form forward team. I tell you, turned him around at Bathurst. Yeah. Yeah. Did you spin around? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> when? Like Bowie. <laughs> when? You didn't put Bowie in the sand at the end, did you? No. 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 <laughs> Now, of the top ten drivers in the championship at the moment, after the Oran Park round, uh, Marcus, Russell and Stephen are the three who are not able to pair with their teammates. Of course, Stephen's driving with Jim and... Uh, why, aren't you why aren't you two together again Greg? this year? It's pretty simple, Mark. We've got two level one sponsors. Right. And uh, we tried to marry the two together last year, so Russell and I could die. No, I just wondered but, why But in general, the, the car looked like a pizza and we couldn't do it again, so... Commercially, we're split, but we've got two great co-drivers joining us. I've got Greg Gritter and Cameron McLean joins Russell, and we're really excited. I think. And we, we haven't and we haven't announced it yet. Well, we have now. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Russell. Right, right, I'm Mark. sure you're the one sponsoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ru Russell, right. I think we've got an announcement on co-drivers. Yeah. Do you want to pass yeah, yeah. it? Too late. <laughs> 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 oh well. Oh. <laughs> You've announced it, though. You just first, haven't announced right? who they're driving with. There's the worst kept secret of all time. Man. But Marcus, Exclusive. you were going we really just... well at Sandown last year. Oh, here, here, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there must be some footage. Hey, not, no, 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 I'm just wondering what happened at Sandown. Let's not, get, we... let's not get into spinning, all right? Because <laughs> you'll come up for a second. I've had the odd off. I've had the odd off. Missed the 15th place in the championship. Here we go. Here's some footage. Hey! Let me save you. 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 Let me I would have got out of that if I could find the wire. <laughs> <laughs> now that, yeah, Ken, Ken, get me out of here, get me out of here, Ken. Why don't you tell me to let the tires? Let the tires down. <laughs> hey, Billy, that's not why we're that's not why we're not driving together this oh, year. All right, okay. I love Russell's team. He's a great oh, guy. Oh, and I would have loved to have him in the car. You said I smell. <laughs> well, after your buddy, you know what it in the seat, you do. Yeah. Not everyone on this table, of course, is uh, is a championship contender, and 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 Scafe, uh, Thanks, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Good on you, Billy. Although nice intro. <laughs> <laughs> Although Toddler's actually crept up there uh, into the top ten. He's still 250 points, I think, roughly uh, off the pace. But we've seen some pretty big turnarounds lately. Marcus nearly lost 192, so anything's possible. You got any good news? Yeah. Um, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> this is a big round, though, obviously, Bathurst. Uh, no matter how, it's the old story. No matter how well you're going, it's a good one to get. Oh, look, no doubt. And, uh, and we all know, sitting around this table, that Bathurst is the, is the race. Um, it's the Stop the Nation Day. We had the, the, uh, you know, the, the launch uh, for, uh, for the event uh, through the week. And uh, it's one of those races that we all know that doesn't matter what happens in the championship, we all want to win it. And uh, as the year goes on, um, it's, it's the prize thing at the end of the year for us all. And uh, uh, we obviously our Thorin Park uh, going a bit better. There's, oh. there's the Richo and the Richo. <laughs> how, was, how good was that? <laughs> he, ran into, he turned into you then. That's the single most reason why we should be driving together. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to hand it to you, Jimmy. I was so impressed with that move. That was, that was, that was very, very good. You little good. whippersnapper. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. You've got to respect your elders, don't they? Exactly. <laughs> what were you thinking then, Jim? Come on. I, I figured that if I passed Steve and got to Steve Allery, I was going to come third. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's simple. <laughs> well, how do you do it, Jim? You go up there every year and you've been doing it for a lot of years now and you just jump behind the wheel and it's quite extraordinary. No, I think the, the reason that you go well at Bathurst is because you've been there 34 times. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you know your way around, obviously. But, uh, yeah, no, listen, you just, you just hop in the car and do as good as you can do. And if it's good enough, great. If it's not, you can't do anything about it. Are you going to keep doing it? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I'll keep going for a, for a bit longer, yeah. I think so. I'll, 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 I'll going to get him next year. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll, be, he'll replace you next year. <laughs> um, but have, just whilst we're on, on Richo's Rich drive at Bathurst last year, it was, was extraordinary. I mean, he qualified fantastically and he was on the pace the whole weekend. It was like he was in the car the whole year. And... Um, I mean, what you said about Jim just coming along and getting in the car, uh, when he get, gets to Bathurst, it's not about just the experience, it's about him driving the car so well up there and uh, got an extraordinary record. He'll take some beating again this year, so it'll be great. Frank Gardner told me that if Jim Richards had gone to Formula One, he would have been anything, could have been anything. Absolutely. It's a nice thing to say. And Frank knows what he's talking about too. Now, of course, Brad really wants to win this race. Cito... Uh, this is one you'd like to win too. You can't all win it, but you've got to be. You had a chance last year. That yeah. was that was going. That was all right. Yeah, we, we actually had a good run last year. And um, to I suppose look, looking back on it, the first time I've ever stood on the podium, I finished second there in the past in '87, but um, it wasn't declared second until a month after the race because of the Eggenberger Sierra situation. But uh, a bit of podium in the workshop and <laughs> stand up on that. I've after actually that. been working on that all this year. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it's. Um, just to see that, that what they've done to Bathurst as well, um, with, the, with the pit changes, uh, with all the facilities there, um, and also all the spectator stuff, it's going to be a sensational event. And um, being there in the 21 years, and I'm sure Jim will um, say the same after the amount of years that he's been there, every lap you do around there is just an exciting part of going motor racing. Yeah. It is just brilliant, and you, every lap you do, you just learn that little bit more about the place. And I don't get any exhilaration out of any other circuit in the country than I do getting going across the top of the mountain and getting it right. It's just brilliant. Was, was Conrad straight really as straight when you... Did you ever race on it when it was a straight before it had yep, the kink in sure it? Oh, you oh. race there, Brad. Don't make out like Glenn yeah. was going. Yeah. Oh, come on, mate. Tell, you raced there with old string back gloves and mung roll Jones. Tell, tell us what that was like, Uncle Glenn. Tell us what it was like in those days. Russell, are you uh, confident? Marcus mentioned uh, he's very happy with Greg uh, as a co-driver. What about Cameron? He's Bill, had some Bill, good runs up there. We haven't announced that, Bill. Yeah, yeah, we haven't announced that. <laughs> Actually, uh, now, yeah, now let's, let's work out an alibi for Ross and Jimmy. We looked under your bonnet and we found a loose announcement. How about we say that? Nice up, Bill. Well... If it, if it happened to be that Cameron McLean was going to be driving okay, the let's hypo yeah, so, let's, hypothetically, yep. um, yeah, weird. I mean, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll be right. Look, um, Cameron's been uh, racing the Conica Series all year, and he's, he's up to speed. He's been to Bathurst numerous times, and uh, I've got no dramas at all. And look, it, it's going to be the best for both situations. As Marcus said, we've got two different commercial sponsors. At the end of the day, we're both in the running for the championship, so we just can't. If it, if it makes you feel better, Cameron, Cameron, Cameron made it to the first corner last year. 
<laughs> Actually, that was as far as he got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Greg, Greg, yeah, Greg. Russell had first choice as well. Did he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He gets Actually, to choose. That's all right. Is, Actually, it, is, it, is it a Ford this time? Yeah. Oh, be all right. oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get off the line. Excellent. And you'll be starting the race. No, I'm starting the race, yeah. mate. You guys obviously will be uh, in red hot form again. How can you beat that lap last year? Yeah. Wow. Maybe I could um, maybe I could beat it if I didn't miss that gear coming out of the dipper. That would, then I'd be able to beat it, I think, Bill. But um, you know, it's it's pretty special. I mean, I isn't it to... enough, Murph, that you did a yeah, great lap? Yeah, yeah, isn't know, it yeah, enough? Yeah, that's exactly right. Just had to add that in. But um, yeah. just listen to Glenn. Else. It's absolutely you know he said there's nothing, there's not another piece of the track in the country that uh, gets him excited world. like in the world, in the world, right? In the world. Other than you know driving across the top of the mountain, it's absolutely true. It's just a fantastic circuit. So um, with uh, Rick and I teaming up again, we've got a, we've got a really good. Pairing and, and obviously young Rick's been driving exceptionally well this year. Are you going to give him a bit of a ribbing about uh, Is that you keeping an eye on the uh, side of the track <laughs> <laughs> when there are cars prone on the edge of the circuit? Oh, for yellow flags and mm. stuff? No, no, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, hopefully I'll be finishing the race so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> who's, no. start, who's starting the race, Murph? Starting Bathurst. Who's starting Bathurst? Oh, I'm starting the race. You sure? Yep. Oh, I was talking to Rick, he reckons he's starting. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't discussed it yet, but I'm starting <laughs> the race. Yeah. <laughs> but you're, the, you're the one that's leaving, not Rick. Oh. Yeah. Is that the way it works now, is it? Apparently, you better talk to the team owner. He'll, sort of, he'll set it straight. Okay. Thanks, okay. Thanks for the advice, Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Rick's dad. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Didn't you get it, Greg? No, mate. No, no. Well, we're all looking forward to like the that. endurance races uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, let's check out when you will see them on your home of motorsport, of course. Uh, as uh, Brad pointed out, the better electrical Sandown 500 is coming up pretty soon. It's only a matter of a few weeks now. And then uh, a little later on, of course, there is the big one. And that is the, uh, the Bob Jane T-Marts 1000. A lot of tradition, a lot of excitement. And I'd like to thank, uh, firstly, our uh, amazing in-audience reporters. Would you give a big round of applause, please, to Greg? Thanks, guys. Thank you. Top night here. Love this sort of night. And, uh, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Well, I was going to say, as the night gets older, uh, they don't look any better, but anyway. <laughs> We'd also like to thank our amazing audience here at the Star City Showroom in Sydney. Yeah. You've been wonderful. Very good questions. And please thank our panel, ladies and gentlemen. Glenn Seaton, Stephen Richards, Brad Jones, Mark Skate, Russell Ingall, Greg Murphy, Marcus Ambrose, and gentlemen, Jim Richards. Also, of course, thank you once again to the Star City Showroom in Sydney for hosting V8 Superstars. This is a fantastic venue. It's been another successful event for the Variety Club, the children's charity. We've raised more than $28,000. Thank you very much at home. We hope you continue to enjoy a great season of motorsport, V8 Supercar Racing on Network 10. In the meantime, it's goodbye from all of us.